you already know that MAGSEC is a security standard, prevents attacks and ensures data confidentiality and integrity? Do you also know that you can use CANU for testing MAGSEC secured communication? Do you want to know how? Then please stay tuned. Hello, my name is Julia Trieflinger and I am a software development engineer for CANU in the field of Ethernet. For the use of MAGSEC in CANU, we show you which settings you can make in a security configuration and how you have to configure your physical parts so that you can observe the MAGSEC secured messages in the trace. We also show what happens when we receive an unsecured packet. Let us look at what you need to configure to use MAGSEC in a CANU configuration. Here, using our example MAGSEC TCP chat. In this example, we will use MAGSEC to secure the connection between two switches on their physical parts. Chat client 1 will send a message to chat client 2. The message will be transmitted from chat client 1 to the server and from there to chat client 2. So, let us start. In CANU, we go to Sample Configurations, Section Ethernet, Simulation and Load MAGSEC TCP chat. The Ethernet network contains three nodes that communicate with each other secured by MAGSEC. The packet builder generates user-defined Ethernet packets and is used for fault injection. For MAGSEC, we need two directly connected segments. In this example, we are using a VN5620, on which the Ethernet port 1 and port 2 are wired by a loop cable. This connection is secured by MAGSEC using the appropriate security profile. To check this, we go to the Hardware tab and open the port configuration. The illustration shows the hardware configuration with the physical ports port 1 and port 2 and the virtual ports chat client 1, chat client 2 and chat server assigned to the switches. For the security settings, we go to Simulation, open Security Configuration and click on the tab MAGSEC. Here we see our measurement ports port 1 and port 2. Please check that security is enabled. Port 1 takes on the role of the supplicant, while port 2 is the authenticator. The meaning of this is specified in the associated profile, which we will now look at in the Security Manager. You find the selected profile in file-based public key infrastructure. There we expand MAGSEC configuration and see the two port configurations, authenticator and supplicant. Let us have a closer look at the profile structure. In our example, only authentication is enabled. If requested, you can switch to authentication and encryption. Here you select a key server based on priority, with a lower value representing a higher priority. This is the only difference between our two configurations. The hello time says how often participants shall prove their liveness. Here it is two seconds. We will see the corresponding liveness messages in the trace later. The profile uses the cipher suite AES128 with pre-shared key authentication for the MAGSEC key agreement, MKA for short. This key is stored in security feature secrets and keys. Now let us have a look on the trace. Therefore we switch to the measurement tab. For a better overview, the trace was split into two parts. On the left are the messages of the simulated ports. On the right are those transmitted by the real ports. Let us run our configuration and focus on the right part. First, the ports are disabled and nothing can be sent over them. Only after the key server has been negotiated via MAGSEC key agreement, messages can be sent over the ports. Apart from our message, you see that the authenticator and supplicant prove their liveness every two seconds as configured. When we look at our send message in the detail view, we see that this was MAGSEC secured. That was the demo of successful communication. Now we will show you what happens when fault injection is used. We again run the configuration and switch already to the fault injection tab. Let's say an intruder pretends to be chat client 1, but sends from a port which is not max executed using the packet builder. Since the intruder can't authenticate, he gets a decode failed message. For testing purposes, you can for example adjust destination and source addresses or the payload. Also, you can add packets or change the MAGSEC type. An Ethernet packet without type MAGSEC will be dropped. 
As you can see, our link layer connections are secured against attacks by simulating MagSec with Canu. To get more familiar with MagSec, just use this demo and play around with the parameters. Thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. For more information about MagSec in Canoe, please click on the link in the description.